All right, so I get a lot of people asking me how I keep detail in the shadows and also um, keep detail in the skies. So I figured I'd make a quick video and show you guys how I actually shoot my photos to be able to get detail in both of those highlights and shadow areas. So the first thing that I do is I expose for different different parts of the photo and. This is commonly referred to as uh, an HDR photo. The problem with taking photos, um, especially during the day, is if you expose for the sky properly, as you can see here, this is pretty much what the sky looked like. There's no detail in the car or the wheels or the grill. Anything black basically is just a black void. You can't see any of the detail. But then on the other hand, if you expose for the car, um, your sky is completely blown out. You can see all of the highlight clipping warnings and you can get some of that back but it's not going to be as clean as if you merge the two photos together. And same thing here, we can pull some of this detail up if we go to the develop slider and um, pull up some of the shadows. But It gets very muddy, the file gets just bad so I mean not the best thing to do. Instead what I do is I shoot a five photo bracket and what that means is this is what the camera says is a perfect exposure so um, the the meter is right in the middle. Um, what I then do is I will shoot negative one so the meter moves over to the left one one large hash mark and then I'll shoot two under so it moves over two and then on the same side I'll shoot one over and then two over and so what this does is this gives me a photo where I have details in the shadow areas so you can see the rotor and the brake caliper and you can see inside the wheels you can see the detail in the grill um, in the lower grill here and then on this side, you can see I still have all of the detail in the clouds um, and in the highlights of the car, things like that. So then what I do is when I import these into Lightroom, you just shift click all of the files, you'll right click, and then you'll go to this option here that's called Photo Merge. And when you click on Photo Merge, there's an option that says HDR. So if you click that, what the computer is going to do, it's going to merge all five of those files together and build a file that is balanced between the highlights and the shadows. So just let it build. So now you can see this is the preview. So this is what it will actually look like. And I leave... Um, kind of all the suggested boxes click so auto align auto tone ghosting amount so if you have a lot of movement in clouds if you didn't take these um, one right after another very quickly you'd get a lot of shifting in clouds so the ghosting amount what that will do is that will take one of the exposures and kind of focus in on that the the things that move and we'll use that to um, make the final photo so then what you do is you go ahead and click Merge, give it a second as it processes. So this is what the HDR um, generator will process straight from Lightroom. Then you can go in and you can tweak some things. So we look at the difference here. So clarity, vibrance, saturation, basically what they do is they pull down the highlights, pull up the shadows. Um, if you can see in here, I took it a little bit further. I pushed up the clarity, pushed up the vibrance a little bit. And then down here, you can play with sharpening, um, noise reduction. Not a lot needed there. I did add a little bit of a vignette, as you can see here. So that's kind of the overview of how I um, process my HDR photos using Lightroom. I would then take this photo into Photoshop and do some additional enhancements. So, and I actually have that photo right here. So this is what the final photo will look like. You can see I have a little bit of highlight clipping and just pull that back a little bit. 
So um, this is what the camera exposed for. This is what our HDR file looked like. This was the initial um, adjustments through Lightroom. And then this was the final Photoshop piece. So hope you guys enjoy this. Um, hopefully it helps you. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.